So I rarely do videos like this, but I received a comment on my Olight Marauder Mini video here. And the question was, how do the RGB modes compare to the Olight Fryer? And at first I thought it was a silly question because these two flashlights compared are in two completely different classes. The Marauder Mini is a $200 flashlight versus the Olight Fryer, which is right around 130 bucks. Now granted, even at 130, that's a lot of money to spend for a flashlight, but trying to scrape up another 70 for the Marauder Mini here just might not be in the budget for a lot of people. So the more I thought about it, the more I thought it was a pretty good question. If you can't scrape up the $200 for the Marauder Mini, does the Olight Fryer compare with the RGB modes. So that's what I wanna do here today. It's not necessarily a versus video. This is more of a direct comparison with each other and demonstration. And side by side, you can definitely see the size differences here between the Fryer and the Marauder Mini. The Marauder Mini here is a little tank, even though it's a lot smaller than the Marauder 2, its bigger brother. Um, it's just such a big, beefy flashlight, even in its mini state. For me, it's definitely not an everyday carry flashlight. This is a flashlight that goes right to a backpack or my car kit. The fryer here is more of an EDC size, even though for me, this is still a little bit too large for everyday carry. So I've done reviews on both of these flashlights. I'll put those links down below in my description box. But if you miss those, let's run down some of the features here of each very quickly and then We'll do the beam test. So the Olight Fryer, a maximum lumen output of 1,750, has a 360 meter throw, um, a 15 day runtime, which is nice, and a max intensity of 32,400 candela. It has three white lighting modes, plus strobe and SOS. And then regarding the RGB modes, the red is 30 lumens with a 12 meter throw, the green is 60 lumens with a 19 meter throw, and the blue is 25 lumens with an eight meter throw. Some notable differences here. The fryer has dual switches, a tail switch and a side switch. It does have a memory with the RGB modes. On the Marauder Mini, there is no memory with RGB. And on the fryer, there is a proximity sensor. Um, $129.95, even though it's sort of hard to find right now, I couldn't even find it on the Olight store. But if you search around online, you can find the fryer. Now let's go to the Marauder Mini. In flood mode, it has a maximum output of 7,000 lumens and a 310 meter throw. And in spot mode, it has a maximum lumen output of 900 with a 600 meter throw and a max intensity of 90,000 candela. It has seven brightness levels on both flood and spot mode. And it has four brightness levels for the red, green, and blue, unlike the Fryer, which only has one brightness level for the RGB modes. And as I mentioned before, no memory with RGB, so red, 200 lumens has a 90 meter throw. Green is 220 lumens with a 90 meter throw. And blue is 120 lumens with a 70 meter throw. So you can see the Marauder Mini has a much brighter RGB modes and a much longer throw. And some notable features here on the Marauder Mini, it does have a flood and spot toggle switch, which I absolutely love. It has a single side switch, but that side switch has a rotatable dial. And you can use that dial to change your intensity levels. It also has an auto lockout after 10 seconds, which is pretty nice actually. And it does have a light color indicator that shows you what level you're in right under that rotatable dial. So it's either going to be white, red, green, or blue. And the Marauder Mini here comes in at $199.99, basically $200. Bucks. And um, as of right now, it is definitely sold out on the Olight store. But I'm sure by Olight's Christmas sale, they'll have a bunch more in stock, hopefully some new colors. And real quick, they both have that twisted head design. It's basically um, heat dissipating fins right here on both the Fryer and the Marauder Mini, which I think is awesome. I love the looks of both of these flashlights. Plus, I forgot to mention, my favorite feature of the Fryer here is the silicone traffic wand. This is why I keep this Fryer in my car kit. I love having this wand in my car for emergency purposes if I break down. And even in white mode, right here, it can act as a pretty nice diffused lantern. This is the reason why this is the light that's in my car all the time. That little wand fits perfectly right into the holster here. And I do like the holster that it comes with, fits in very nicely. So that's enough of the numbers comparison. Now let's take this outside so I can demonstrate what the RGB modes look like with each of these flashlights so you guys can make a better decision whether to go with the Fryer or if you need the Marauder Mini. All right, so I'm in my backyard here. Very first time I'm doing a flashlight video from back here. I'm usually out front, but I figure this is a good spot 
to demonstrate these modes here. So there's, this is the Olay Fryer. I should have said that first. And there is red. Now there's no different levels of intensity for the RGB modes on the fryer. So this is what you get. So I'm gonna put up the distance between me and the house here and then the uh, tree right there. So you guys can see what this looks like. And then let's go to green. Okay. So you can see it's very, very wide on the fryer. You can see it goes way over there. And if I point it at the ground, there really is no hot spot here. No real hot spot. And then the blue. Wow. Okay. I just pan around the little field here. You get a good idea. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna go into the white modes. Let's go the medium mode from the tail switch there. You can see I'm hitting that tree pretty nice. And then let's go the full 1,750 lumens. So the fryer with the white modes is no slouch. 1,750 lumens, 360 meters of throw. I mean, this is a pretty solid flashlight right here. And up until the Marauder Mini, my favorite RGB flashlight just because of this 360 meter throw and this little, little compact size, really. Just so it's fresh in your memory here. So there's, let me start with red. Red, green, and blue. All right, let's switch to the Marauder Mini. Get this on, there's flood. All right, so lowest level red. And already you can see that even the lowest level red on the Marauder Mini is much brighter. Look, it definitely has a hot spot there. You can see it if I hit the house right there and then go to the trees. Now let's go to level two, three, and four. So let's just stay right here in four. That's a pretty intense red light here on the Marauder Mini. If I scan across this field here, I mean, that's pretty intense. Now let's go to, go into green here. And that's the highest level green. And let's go down to level one. Like I said, even on the lowest level, it's just brighter and throws farther than that fryer does. Um, put it back to 100%. And now blue. Wow. Very good. So... It's gonna go to the flood, that's insane. <laughs> All right, red, green, and then blue. And then let's switch it over to spot. And obviously if you guys saw my Marauder mini review, you're gonna know that this 900 lumen, 600 meter throw spot is absolutely insane. Um, I have to be careful, there are houses directly across the street, but if I pan across the field here, yeah. So hopefully this gives you guys a better idea. The Fryer RGB modes versus the Marauder Mini. Is it worth an extra 70 bucks to go with the insane RGB modes here in the Marauder Mini? Or do you not need this much light with RGB? For me, I really don't need this much light out of an RGB flashlight, but it's still nice to have this, especially if you need the colors. All right, guys, so there you have it. Do you think the Marauder Mini is worth the extra 70 bucks if you need the RGB modes, or do you wanna save the 70, drop 130 bones on the fryer? Obviously, the RGB modes in the fryer here can't compare to the modes here with the intensity levels that are in the Marauder Mini. Or are you somebody like me who doesn't really care too much about the RGB modes? They're cool, but it's not really a deciding factor, at least for me, unless they give you this little silicone wand on the fryer. I think this is really cool. And this is the reason and the reason alone this fryer is always in my car. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the comparison between the fryer and the Marauder Mini. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!